personal journals. Not an official law, just something for me. The Agricultural Center, one of my first posts with vault -Tec. I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year at the Autumn Festival, me running through the corn maze, going every which way, Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> Wasn't going to happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. Being a kid, the three of us, our simple life, our simple house. I wonder if it still stands. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I... I couldn't get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio, listening to the Silver Shroud. Dad. You were right about what living underground would really be like. 25 years locked in with the same people was a challenge. But watching them pair up, get married, have children. Well, I think I got to know a little bit of what you and Mom were always telling me. Well, since I'm doing this whole trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school is in order. I was in my junior year when I got to the wrong Mining accident. Everyone in West Virginia has a story like that in the family. You just... You never think it's gonna be you. Dad was in pieces. I started living in the library more than before. And I was already there most days to begin with. And Evan... Oh, Evan... Mom had introduced us just a few months before. Graduated a year ahead of me, just went right to work in the mines. So handsome. Oh, and those arms. What West Virginia girl could resist all that? I can't believe he stuck with me. After the funeral, I didn't want anyone around. But there he was, showing up in the library after his shift with a lunchbox for us to share every day. 
when the career fair came and I met the people from Vault Tech, it was like a light turned on. Protecting families, protecting their future, protecting America. The first thing I did when I got the acceptance letter to Vault Tech University was head over to Mom's grave with Dad. He was happy I was staying in West Virginia. So was I. The school's quite intact. That's a pleasant surprise. Ah, oh, what a magnificent place this once was. The very epicenter of learning here in Appalachia. Truly, nothing is as valuable as a good education. It certainly will. And not just for the rebuilding of structures, machines, and other scientific and technological pursuits. We must also repair the fabric of our society and our culture. We must embrace the history, art, music, literature, and philosophy. Why, our mission must be nothing short of reclaiming that which makes us civilized. So, what brings you here to the hallowed halls of vault -Tec University? Uh, searching for knowledge, uh, foraging for supplies, or perhaps some secret mission you can't talk about? Well, this isn't such a bad place for that, I suppose. I myself have made more than a few forays into the musty corridors and classrooms in search of anything useful. I must give you fair warning, however, that the school is now home to bands of rasping mutant horrors that seem inclined toward violence. Ask away. Up north, Connecticut, a small town called Monroe, named for the fifth president of the United States. It was quite lovely, especially in the autumn. My wife and I used to ride the bicycle trails on Sundays and then visit the local brewery for a pint. Ah, I do miss those days. And I miss my Millie. May she rest in everlasting peace. Uh, that's a bit of a story. Not long after the war, I lost my wife Millicent to cancer, likely brought on by the radiation. Every day I questioned whether to go on living at all. Without her, the days were empty, devoid of any purpose beyond the simple need to survive. But in time, once I'd learned to adapt to living in the world after the bombs, I decided to set a new goal for myself. I set out to visit those great American centers of learning that still remained intact. I've always felt at home in such places. And so, here I am. At least for a while. I was a teacher. History and literature were my subjects it always brought me great joy to illuminate the eager minds of children. Well, for the few who are interested, at any rate, high school students are easily distracted, I'm afraid. Well, I'd start by saying that without vault humanity would be lost. The vault saved precious lives and gave us a chance to rebuild. Now... We all heard about the rumors and controversies. But what large corporation doesn't have to cope with such things from time to time? As far as I'm concerned, the only real blemish on vault record is the rather shameless corporate branding on display here at VTU. Very well. Was there anything else? 
Certainly. It was a genuine pleasure. Vault 76 was going to be a control vault, 
no experiment. I was so relieved, but they told me I was going to be assigned to Vault 101 in Washington, D.C. I had to leave West Virginia. My people, behind. I couldn't let them do that. No matter what it took. I'm so sorry, Evan. I wish I could say I would have made another choice. That I would have picked dying in this house together when the bombs fell. I never stopped thinking about you. And I'm not giving up until I find out what happened. If you're not here, then there's only one other place you'd want to be. The mines. exemption and give him space in the vault. But there was someone more qualified, a civil engineer, someone with the skills to help rebuild. He was a distant cousin of a vault tech executive and almost made the cut. 76 was for the best and brightest, and Evan didn't qualify. Down, I knew they were right. So I broke off the engagement. I sacrificed him for the vault, for Appalachia. I know what I have to do, but, but I just can't. I love him. I already killed him once. I can't do it again. Please. I gave 76 everything. You were all so brilliant. The first few years were hard, but we learned to trust each other. You learned to trust me. I was young. So young. Younger than most of you. But you accepted me as your overseer. So I need you to do this for me. Let Evan rest. He didn't deserve any of this. The scorched, eliminating this plague, it's not just about survival now. It's personal. We have to secure the nukes. Wipe this disease off the map. <laughs> 